Today we're going fishing. fishing. And, we're going and I know fish. how to fish. Yeah. A lot. Gonna... I get a lot of fish. It's very hot, but the rain is keeping us cool. I don't care. <laughs> we're gonna go fishing in Lago Caunillas. Initially, we were supposed to go to Ponce on this day, but as soon as we got to my dad's shop, he was bombarded with customers. So my brother and I stayed, and my brother helped him out, and I said, why don't we just go to Ponce tomorrow, and we switch the fishing trip to today. So as soon as we closed shop, we stopped by the panaderia to get some delicious sweets, and then we headed to Lago Canillas to go fishing. We have arrived at our fishing spot. Mm. Pretty fishing my here. This cat's not afraid of anybody. My hmm? sister's hand. Yeah, this all used to be covered by water. This is my first time coming fishing down here. I've always fished on Me the too. other side of the lake. Pretty, the stream just goes into the lake. Jay got a fish. Woohoo! Have the boys gotten one? Oh man, we are beating them. Uh, Mama, you got oh, it. Dale, dale. <laughs> dale, dale, dale. Dale, sigue, sigue. Oh man. Woo, don't get tired. Sigue, 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 sigue. Yes, we are. And then after that, if we get uh, another so one, uh, we get 9 and 10. Uh-huh. And then 11 and 12, 13, 14. pecate más que nadie aquí. Sí. Now we got 8. The boys oh, only have how much? One. Oh, two wings. Show us your fish. They're so giant that he can't bring them home. He just has to toss them back in yeah, the water. Yeah, I can't. I gotta be nice and... You take a picture of the first one I got, huh? <laughs> that's that's the biggest one we all have, all right? I don't want to hear it. Maybe got another one. We got no, we got nine. Nice job, uh, Jay. Uh, Jay. Jay gets the biggest oh, fish prize. You're right. You're right. Oh, baby, look at this one. Look at that one. Yeah, that's the one you caught. A red one. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Do we have to keep it? No, that one we throw back. Because it's small? Yeah, it's tiny. So today we're here in yet again another indigenous park here in Puerto Rico. This is called El Parque de Tibes in Ponce. We're, it's my first time. It is her first time. We're just exploring all sorts of, you know, indigenous and roots and all those wonderful things. Yes. There is no admission for this particular museum and it's pretty awesome. They have an outdoor exhibit where they have different artifacts and pictures of excavations that they've done, but they have an indoor museum where they have so many artifacts and just indigenous things and they actually have these human remains. They only have one in display, but the guy was telling us that they have about 165 more that they have found and that they've been able to excavate. And this is pretty cool because it just teaches us about like their customs, what did they do, how did they bury their people. So it, it was just a really enriching experience and I got to learn so much. This is what you can make maracas out of, Made that it. fruit right there. All right, so these guys over here are supposed to be the bates. And apparently, what the guy told us is this is pretty much like the kitchen where they did the tools and stuff like that. And it goes kind of like in a little circle of all sorts of different things that they do. It's just cool and, you know, interesting to see history, to be able to see these excavation sites and 
they've made it accessible, you know, for us to just learn the history. So of course it's exciting. <laughs> You made it all the way to the center. You touched it. You touched the rock. <laughs> so the cool thing about this particular bate is that it is in shape of a star and apparently it shows all the cardinal locations and they used it to know like where certain constellations were at what time of year. So it's hard to see in video but there is one right there, one over there, one over there. It's just like a little star. It's, it's almost like a, like a compass rose, I would say. So there's another bate down that way. And then there's another bate down that way. I'm personally not going to go. Number one is toasty. Number two, I don't want any more mosquito bites. I got some this morning from being down at my dad's shop. And number three, I'm conserving my energy because our next stop is going to be El Parque de las Bombas. We headed to La Plaza de Ponce and we went to see El Parque de las Bombas and the beautiful cathedral that they have there and the fountain. This is a historic place. It goes back to the big fire that Ponce had and the firemen were the heroes of the town. So a lot of great history, a lot of beautiful sights to take in. We were told that after El Morro that is in San Juan, this is the second most visited place. visiting El Parque de la Bomba, we headed over to La Guancha in Ponce. And I remember there used to be a huge, beautiful boardwalk here, but now that area is closed because Hurricane Maria destroyed it all. So that area is closed. However, you still have access to the beach. And now also all the vendors have kind of moved off to the street. So you still get artisans, there are food trucks, there's all sorts of crafts that people sell here. So even though the boardwalk is closed, people still go there and it's still a very busy place. Did you order Jay? Natera shake. Is it good? After our wonderful visit to Ponce, we headed back home to enjoy our last evening with dad in Puerto Rico. Daddy, what is it that you're making here, man? Tell mm. us, ¿qué es esto? Esto es lamb. Oh, yeah. Esto es como a little cow. Pues no es lamb, es cat. Cow. So esta es la ternera. Ternera, yeah. So this is ternera, and it is like calf. So it's baby cow. So the, the meat in it is very soft and it's very white. We're gonna go gather yeah. eggs, chicken yes. eggs. You're coming? Oh, yeah. We are egg collecting. It looks Don't like me. Kinder eggs. Yeah. They're huge eggs too. You know, dad's chickens oh, are free range chickens. So they they lay their eggs in random places. Yeah. In that case, it was down there. Yeah. now heading out to go to the airport and the airport is about two hours from here so we're hoping we make it on time our flight is around 11 something so yeah, yeah. we're seeing my dad and my brother did you have a good time yeah puerto rico is a nice place right yeah. we're leaving we're going bye 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 there's jay back there we're in the airport and we are heading 
go to our gate where we just finished saying goodbye to daddy and went through security and all the good stuff. So it's always a sad moment, but May is excited to see dad and Noah. So here we go. It is nearly midnight, actually five minutes till midnight, and we finally made it to Cleveland after our flight delay, but we are finally here, and that means we only got about an hour and a half to two more hours to go home. But this has definitely been a super fun experience, and definitely one that we want to do more often. I feel now that I've gotten older, I appreciate all of these experiences so much more. You know, I go to Puerto Rico and I soak in the views and I get to enjoy it instead of being frustrated because something is not working or something is really slow. This time around, I truly just embraced my time with my dad and enjoyed all the wonderful things that this island has to offer. Do you have a favorite place that you enjoy visiting with your family? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I always love hearing from you.